Good afternoon to all. This is Nakshatra, studying 9th standard in Malaredi Memorial School. So I am here to tell about gender equality. What is gender equality? A group of people fighting for a right between a girl, boy, men, women, and so on. So first of all, I'll tell you that I'm not going to offend boys or either girls, or not only going to support girls. Because the actual issue of gender equality has occurred because the society not giving correct rights and equality to girls, men. So let me start it with the time of birth. When a boy is born in a family, we see the happiest faces of their parents, their relatives. We see a family distributing sweets and celebrating. But when it's a girl, the situation changes and you see the depressed voices, the saddest faces. And when someone asks them, they say, if it is a boy, they say it's a boy. But when it's a girl, they say it's just a girl. How can you tell that it is just a girl only when she's born? You cannot criticize or tell that she's just a girl when she's born, right? So next, when we go to schooling era, I think I was seven when I asked my father that what is co-education? My father replied that a together study of a boy and a girl. But when I stepped into the school, I saw that boys is having one row, girls are having one row. For project also, boys group, girls group. For games, boys group, girls group. But I never understood that together can also mean that way of together. And when we go to higher educations, most of the girls drop out from the college. Not all parents discourage, but as well as not all parents encourage their daughters. So not in all the times, but if a girl is five minutes late also to reach the home, parents ask her many questions, saying, why were you late? With whom were you? Why did you come late? But when it's a boy, even if he's coming at 10 o'clock to home, they say that it's some sort of combined studies. And then this chapter arrives into a girl's life chapter of marriage and I always had this doubt why always boys go to see girls why don't girls come to see boys like actually if and after they go they ask her do you know how to cook you know how to dance you know how to sing I have this question is she going to sing or dance in your home after she's going to get married no right or are you going to send her to some kind of competitions no right but just imagine if a girl going to boy's house and asking him, you know how to cook, you know how to sing, you know how to dance, it will become a big issue. It, some sort of World War III, who knows. Then after the parents allow other boys to come and select her daughter as if she's some kind of doll. And next, this critical issue of employment. Girl or woman, she might get harassed in the way she's going to her college. And, uh, sorry, her employment place, her workplace, when she's traveling at her workplace with the people she works and also at her home. When she's going to her workplace and someone harasses her and everyone points out at her mistake saying that you shouldn't have gone. You should drop from your work, but they don't ask the person who is harassing her. And I told you that uh, she has problems at her home also. So let me tell you a scenario. When if a girl uh, comes home from work, she needs to clean the room. She needs to make, prepare food. She needs to make coffee for herself. And then she needs to feed her children. And then she serves for everyone. Then she, but when it's a man, the family members take his bag. After he gets freshed up, they give him warm coffee. They prepare food for him. They give him. But there is a difference. Why? Always, I, I always had this doubt. Why do you see a girl and a boy different? And these people, neighbors, have so much of free time to interrupt into our lives. If a girl is coming at 9 o'clock wearing short clothes with her friends, they pass free judgment saying, okay, she has gone out with her friends. She is wearing small clothes, okay. She must have done something wrong. But if a boy is coming at 10 o'clock to home, even with his friends, they say that, oh, he might have been doing some sort of combined study. My God. Next, this saddest truth of life. When a boy needs to buy a pack of cigarette, it is very simple. He can go to a shop, he can buy, even after there's a note on it saying it will cause you cancer and it will lead to death. But 
whereas a girl going to a medical shop and buying a pack of sanitary pad becomes a real life mission for her. After she goes to the shop, she's too scared to ask the person who's in the medical shop. After she buys, she wraps it under a paper, keeps it in a bag and takes it to home. Why? The pack of cigarette is dangerous for life, but still boys buy it and show off in front of friends smoking. But the pack of sanitary pad helps a girl, but she's still scared to buy that. And let me conclude my talk with a small story. Once there was a mother and a daughter. The daughter asks her mother, Mama, can you tell me about a good father? And her mother says, okay, about a good father. Then the uh, daughter says, tell me about your father. Then the mother says, okay, I'll tell you about my father. I am the elder one, I have a younger brother and one day we were going out with my father and I asked for a toy and I asked for a ball whereas my brother asked for a cooking set and my dad bought the ball and he gave it to my brother, he bought the cooking set and gave it to me. But when I asked my father, why did you do that? My father replied, balls are not meant for girls, balls are only meant for boys. And cooking set is for girls, you can play with those. And after I grew up, I was interested in playing football. So I, were, I was wearing my football costume, I took my ball. At 7 o'clock, I had a tournament, I was going out. And my grandmother asked me that, why are you wearing so short clothes and going outside at this time? And as soon as my grandmother told that, my father came out of the room and said, football is not meant for girls, I have told you many times, don't play game. And then the brother comes out of the kitchen cooking one curry. And says, it's your chance to go out and play with your friends, you should come outside. But uh, he says that, no, dad, I'm interested in being a chef. And he says, cooking is not a boy's job. And future in future, the, she wants to continue studies, whereas the boy wants to become chef. The father gets the girl married and he become, he makes the boy go to some job searches and the mother says, today I am here telling you the story and my brother is still searching for jobs. And her mother replies that, I don't know about my father, but I don't know if he's a good father or not. Then the next morning, the mother comes to clean the room. She sees that her daughter has written the story and she checks the story and there she finds that the story is written as the greatest father and in that it says there was a small family with an elder daughter and a younger brother. One day they were going out and the girl asks for a football and boy asks for a cooking set. Dad buys the ball and gives it to the girl and buys the cooking set and gives it to the boy. And later on the girl wants to play football. Dad supports her to go to football talk and supports his son to become a chef. And then the girl wakes up and the mother asks that, I have told you one story, but you converted it totally different. I told you one and you made it one. The situations are totally different. Then the girl replies, Mama, I did not change the full story. I just changed one character in it. So just imagine the girl has prepared a really beautiful story. So if that one person changes in our society, a life of girl would be so beautiful. Thank you for giving this opportunity.